All right, moving on to 5.2. This is scale factors, uniting perimeters and areas. And we talked about yesterday about perimeters, or last uh, section, talking about perimeters uh, being um, the units being in some type of units to the first, right? So that's being like feet to the first, um, meters to the first. And generally, we don't put to the first power. We just say it's in feet and meters and miles. Maybe it's in kilometers. Maybe it's in light years, right? Light years. Maybe it's in, uh, I don't know, uh, what else do we use? You guys get the picture, right? In area, uh, it's in like, you know, units squared, right? It's in like square feet. It's in cubic inches. Cubic inches cubed, or sorry, <laughs> inches cubed, inches squared, excuse me. Uh, it's in, uh, uh, we'll say, uh, you know, miles, square miles. Uh, it's in kilometers squared, right? It's in square light years, light years squared, right? Um, it's, it's whatever, it's in units, the, the units are squared, all right? So if I am going to be uh, using my, trying to use this, this um, my scale factors, right? It's gonna be my, my scale factor, or my, excuse me, my perimeter, which is in you know a linear unit perimeter final equals my perimeter initial it's gonna be my I'm gonna take my scale factor and I'm just gonna raise it to the first power I just multiply it by my scale factor okay to the first okay if I'm gonna do my area which is in units which is in units squared my area final is equal to my perimeter or my area initial but I'm gonna take my scale factor and I'm going to square it. Okay, that's the only difference. Okay, so I'll show you, uh, I'll couple that with um, what we're doing uh, here today. Okay, so here we have first, how do we determine our scale factors? Okay, we have our figure A and our figure B. The first thing we do is figure out what are the similar sides. These are similar objects, right? So we have our short end with our similar sides and of a short end of the of the of the uh, triangle of our uh, sorry our uh, rectangles and then we have the long end the lengths the lengths of our of our uh, rectangles okay so you can do you know little this is the small one this is the big this is the large one okay so we'll do small over large. Okay, so it's gonna be 2.5 over four. Oh, excuse me, that's wrong. 2.5 over 7.5. And then we're gonna do, uh, or you can do four uh, over 12. Either way, you're gonna do this, is this one over this one, or this one over this one. Um, and you can do both. I encourage you to do both to make sure you're not doing any mistakes. So it's going to be 2.5 divided by 7.5. That's going to equal one third or uh, one third. Okay. Uh, so that's if you do it the one way, the small over the large. If you do the large over the small, it's going to be the inverse of this, which is four three. Or three, okay. So this is the this is the shrink. This is the growth, All right? So if I go from large to small, I shrink it by a third. If I go from small to large, I'm growing it by times three. Okay. So my area here. So my remember my area of a rectangle. Area of a rectangle equals my length times my width. So say the area of, so the area of this equals 7.5 inches times 12 inches, inches times inches is inches squared, right? So inches squared, unit analysis checks. 
7.5 times 12 equals 90 inches. 90 inches squared. I already got that inches squared. Okay. So if I wanted to reduce this and figure out what this is going to be, one way to do that is by saying, hey, my, my, uh, what is going to be this? Well, I can check easily because it gives me my, 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 my values. 2.5, my area of this is going to be 2.5 inches square or inches times 4 inches. 2 times 5 uh, times 4 is 10 inches squared. Okay, so if what I told you was correct, I should be able to say my area final equals my area initial times my scale factor squared. Okay, so this would equal, say I'm downsizing it. I'm going from here to here. Okay, so 90 inches squared should be my scale factor. I'm going down, so it's going to be one-third squared. Okay, one-third squared is one-ninth. So 90 inches squared times one-ninth. So one-ninth of 90 is 10 inches squared. Okay, so check. That works out. All right, so that's pretty neat. Okay, so let's do the next one. Next one here is <coughs> triangle F is the small triangle. Triangle R is the large triangle. And this has three sides because it's a triangle. All right, we have, this is a right triangle, in fact. It has a right angle, so that it has a hypotenuse, a hypotenuse, and two legs, right? And two legs, right? So it has a first leg, second leg, and the hypotenuse, okay, which is similar in length. All right, so it's going to be, we can have that divided by that, or um, that divided by that, or that divided by that, right? So all three of them are going to be the same ratio, all right? So we'll do 6 divided by 12, or 8 divided by 16, or 20, or 10 divided by 20. Each one equals 1 half, okay? That is the small, small divided by large, right? Which is going to give me my growth, or sorry, my uh, shrink ratio. Small divided by 12 is going to be, is going to be my shrink ratio. It's going to be less than one, okay, which is one half. So going from here to here would give me a shrink ratio because it's less than one half, or it's less than one. Okay, so that's my shrink ratio, which is one half. Okay, and so my growth ratio is the inverse of that, which is two. Two over one or two. Okay, so that should make sense by now. Um, so my, uh, my growth ratio, my growth scale factor, scale, these are all scale factors by the way, scale factor for shrink, it's my scale factor for growth, and if I'm going to uh, figure out my areas, remember my area of a triangle equals my base times my height divided by two, not, not the hypotenuse, it's my two legs, my two legs base times my height divided by two. All right, so we'll say, we'll do the small to big this time. Okay, so eight times six equals eight times six. It does, it's unitless right here, divided by two. All right, so eight times six is 48, divided by, this is 48, divided by two equals 24 units squared. Okay, this is units, units, 48 units, squared divided by 2 equals 24 units. Okay, so now I'm going to use my awesome equation. So my uh, area final equals area initial 
initial times my uh, scale factor squared, which is going to be area final equals 24 units squared times 2 squared, right? Which is going to be uh, area final equals 24 units squared times 4, right? So 24 times 4 equals 96 units squared. So let's see if that's right. Okay, so this is going to be 12 units squared from right here. Sorry, 12 units times 16 units divided by 2 equals 12 times 16 divided by 2 equals 96 96 units squared, which checks. Okay, works every time. Every time. And I think it's faster. Okay, last one. Last one. We have two trapezoids. Two trapezoids. Okay. Um, oh, I haven't done perimeters. That's okay. Um, perimeters are just as easy. We did perimeters last time. I'll go back and do perimeters, I guess, in a different color. Okay, so perimeters uh, are areas here. We have the areas are, uh, again, we have a, a small and a large. All right, we'll call that one small. We'll call this one large. And the scale factors, we can pick any of these, right? Three, we'll call this one, 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 two, 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 two. And these are the same. This is an isosceles trapezoid. Since those are the same, these are isosceles trapezoids. So again, we have a, a 1 over a 1 uh, or a 2 over a 2 or a 3 over a 3. These can be sideways or up and down. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so we have a, a 3 over a 6 or a, a 1 half again over a 10, or a 2.3 over a 4.6. So all of these are one half for a shrink, okay, or a 2 for a growth, okay. So the area of a trapezoid, area of a trapezoid, okay, it's uh, kind of like the area of a triangle, Step one more step. Okay, it's this length, the short length, equals the short length plus the long length divided by two, okay, times the height. All right, so this is the height right here. That's the height. All right, so here it's um, three plus five equals 3 plus 5, oops, that's h, 3 plus 5 divided by 2. It's like the average. It's the average length, if you haven't noticed that out. If you haven't figured that out, it's the average length. 3 plus 5, that's the average length. 3 and 5, there's two lengths. 3 plus 5 is 8 divided by 2. That's the average length, that's 4, right? Plus the height, which is 1. Two. There's two two blocks. It's two, or times two. Excuse me, times two. Times two, right? So the the height, the average is is four. The area is eight units squared. Okay. So three plus five is eight divided by two is four times two is eight units squared. Okay. So I'm growing this. So my area final equals my area initial initial times my scale factor squared, right? So it's going to be 8 times 4 is 16. So I'll do that again. Okay, so my area initial is 8 units squared. Oop, I did it wrong. Times 4 equals 32 units squared. All right, so we'll do it here. I'll show you that this is 
average is six and four, or sorry, six plus 10 is 16, divided by two is eight units squared, times one, two, three, four, times four equals 32 units squared. So there is my areas match. Check. Awesome. All right, so perimeters, um, just pretty easy, right? Perimeter is two and a half, two and a half is five. Whoops, two and a half, two and a half is five, plus four and four is eight. So five plus four, oh, sorry, five plus eight, five plus eight equals 13. 13, All right? So 13 times my, so 13 times my uh, scale factor, three, 13 times three equals, 13 times three equals 39. 39 inches, okay? So that should be 39 inches, All right? So 7.5 times two equals 15, sorry. So 15 times 24, or plus 24, 15 plus 24 equals 39. Check, and you do the same thing for all three of those. Hope that makes sense.